So what can we expect from your book? A bit of everything. It's got, uh, there's no uh, bars held. It's, the thing is, it, it's gone from when I was about 14 when I first got into the game. Uh, football, you know, Sunday league, school teams, and then obviously when I go to Grimsby and it's got right from being a YT right the way through to even present day. So, but it's more, it's not so much matches. There's a few games in there, obviously the big games and talking how we prepare for it and stuff. Uh, so there, that's inter interesting. But it's more behind the scenes, the pre-season trips, the things that you know, the dressing room, the, the things that the fans don't get to hear and or get to see really. Uh, some good stories, some good laughs, and then obviously towards the end, how your career pans, trying to get into management, being loyal, does it pay? Does it not pay? Uh, little things like that. So, what inspired you to write it in the first place? It was a guy, uh, funny enough, he, he works at, well at the Institute the College. We, we've got our own training ground there. And uh, there's a guy who looks after the, the 3G. And he's been an ex player, or a good hand. And every now and again, in between, you know, between the sessions and stuff, we, we, we'll pop into the office to say hello and they have a bit of banter about the years gone by and a few stories. And, and he just said, Look, he says, your memory's quite clear. He says, I remember it, the stories you're telling me. He says, But. You know, how do you remember that one and, and stuff? And he just said, oh, you should write a book. And I went, yeah, yeah, one day, one day. And then anyway, he came up to me and said, look, I've got some ghostwriters, I've been on the internet, I've got you a few. One's in Australia, but it's going to cost too much for him to come over and do it. He said, but, and he named three or four who were interested, but we went with a lad, uh, Simon Ashby from Bradford, because obviously when I can come to training here, I met him up in Weatherby and we, we, we went to the, the local pub round here. And... Uh, just before training, I'd meet him there and we'd have a chat about certain stories and stuff, and it went from there. So, really, I've obviously always thought about doing one, but it was probably just getting that kick, really, to say, go and do it. And that, no, I've done it. It's 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 good. It's, it's funny. It's it's good to remember the players as well. You know, go back and, and remember the players that you played with, and you forget you played with him and, and stuff, and they've all been in contact again. So, what it's done is it's actually sort of brought everyone back together again so it'll be nice to hopefully see one or two as well. When you say that they've all been in contact is there a few that maybe you won't be getting a Christmas card from this year? No no there's none of that I've not gone in and uh, it's not one of these uh, books that people are sometimes are a bit bitter about this or they've got a grievance about that player now nah, I, 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 and I honestly say there's not one player that's in my time while I've been there that I didn't get on with or I'd like to think I didn't get on with uh, they were all lads who were kind of easy knocked on the door and said, look, no, let's go for a pint or, or whatever. And no, even if it happened, I wouldn't go out and want to spoil someone. It's not all about that. It's about people uh, enjoying, hopefully enjoying the stories behind it. It's even like, you know, I've got Sunday league teams I used to run and the, the laughs we used to have there. So it's, 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 it's for the working class person, really, because that's where I came from and that's what I wanted to touch on. Superb. Thanks, John. OK.